The dose batch should be fully charged before use. This may take up to two and a half hours. If the dose badge isn't in regular use, it should be fully charged at least every four weeks. The dose badge can be left on the charger, provided the charger is connected to a power supply. Remove the charger unit and power supply from the case. Connect the power supply to a main supply and the DC plug to the charger unit. Turn on the mains power. This will be shown by a red power indicator light on the charger. Remove the first dose badge from the case and carefully screw it in a clockwise direction onto the charging stud unit until it is finger tight. Continue to turn until the green indicator light starts to flash. Repeat the process with the other dose badges. Once charging is finished, the green indicator lamp will stop flashing and remain on continuously. At this point, the dose badge will be receiving a trickle charge to ensure the battery is kept topped up. As mentioned previously, to ensure optimum performance, the dose badge should be left on trickle charge when not in use. So, to recap, no indicator light means the dose badge isn't connected. Green indicator light flashing means dose badge is charging. Green indicator light permanently illuminated means dose badge fully charged and receiving a trickle charge. Before taking measurements with the dose badge system, you should ensure the correct parameters are employed to meet your local regulations. This can be done using the DB Link 3 software or by choosing the appropriate settings in the dose badge. Turn the reader on with the power button. To access the parameters, press the menu button. Use the up and down and left and right arrows to scroll to the parameter you wish to change. Press the OK button to accept the new entry. The menu system can be exited at any time by pressing the Cancel button. It's possible to configure the following parameters. Clock, time and date. Time history measurement. Criterion time and level. Threshold setting. Time waiting. Exchange rate. Dual channel measurements. And dose exceedance. The Configuration and Options chapter of the User Manual has detailed information about the available parameters and settings and an explanation of their function. Please note that the Reader Unit's parameters can also be configured using the DB Link 3 software. If the dose badge hasn't been used for one hour, it will be in sleep mode. When in sleep mode, it will not be possible for it to communicate with the Reader Unit. To wake it up, you should shake it horizontally as shown. The status indicator will flash twice with a blue light to indicate it has woken up. It is possible to wake up a dose badge by simply handling it or removing it from the charger unit. If, after shaking, the blue light doesn't flash, it may be the case that it is already awake. To check, point the reader at the dose badge and press the stop button. The blue indicator light should then flash, indicating that it is awake. To reset or calibrate the dose badge, insert it into the calibrator cavity, ensuring the infrared windows on the dose badge and the reader are lined up. To reset, press the reset button on the reader, followed by the OK button. A timing bar will move across the screen to indicate progress. Note this action will remove all previously stored data from the dose badge memory. The dose badge indicator light will flash twice to confirm the reset procedure is complete. To calibrate, press the CAL button. A timing bar will scroll across the screen twice to confirm successful calibration. Note, do not use a dose badge until the reset and calibration procedures are complete. Secure the dose badge to the mounting clip by sandwiching it between the dose badge and the mounting plate. A dose badge can be fastened to a hard hat using the optional mounting kit. The dose badge should be mounted on the shoulder of the wearer within 10 centimetres of their left or right ear. Make sure that nothing can touch the dose badge otherwise the measurements will be compromised. Finally, ensure the infrared window is positioned at the front to allow easy access for starting and stopping. 
To start the dose badge, point the reader at the dose badge's infrared window and press the run button. The timing bar will move across the screen, thereby indicating successful communication. Do not move the reader away from the dose badge until the blue indicator light flashes. To stop the dose badge, point the reader at the dose badge's infrared window and press the stop button. The indicator light will remain lit for one second and then go out. The dose badge can then be removed and is ready for the measurements to be downloaded. The dose badge may also be started and stopped using the RC101 key fob remote control unit. Point the key fob at the dose badge infrared window and press the run or stop button. The dose badge will function in exactly the same way as from the reader unit. A dose badge can be recalibrated at the end of a measurement. This is an optional step. To calibrate, insert the dose badge into the calibrator cavity, ensuring the infrared windows are lined up. Press the CAL button. A timing bar will scroll across the screen twice to confirm successful calibration. To read the measurements to the reader unit, insert the dose badge into the calibrator cavity, ensuring that the infrared windows are lined up. Press the read button on the reader unit. During the download process, a timing bar will indicate progress of the data transfer. Once complete, the reader unit will display the measurement information. Use the up and down arrows to view the measurement data. Downloaded measurements are stored in the reader unit's memory automatically. By default, the last measurement to be downloaded will be displayed. The display will also indicate how many measurements are stored in total. In this case, there are 10 measurements and we're viewing number 3. Use the arrow keys to navigate within the measurement data in order to change the views and information displayed. A range of data can be displayed, for example, LEQ, LEX, peak DB, C or time history. This information will change depending upon the configuration of the dose badge. For example, if the dose badge has been set for the OSHA noise measurements, the display will show LAVG and TWA. The information stored and therefore able to be viewed is determined by the configuration of the dose badge. Before measurements can be downloaded from the reader unit to a computer, the DB-Link3 software must be installed. This section assumes you've already installed the software. If you haven't, please return to the main menu from where you can select a section explaining the procedure and instructions on how to install and use the software. The reader unit is connected to the computer using the supplied USB cable. Make sure you've turned on the reader unit using the power on button. Firstly, taking the end of the cable with the square connector, plug it into the reader unit, noting the correct orientation and taking care not to force it home. Then plug in the other end of the cable, the one with the rectangular connector, to a USB port on your computer. After you've opened the DB Link 3 software, it'll automatically detect the instrument. Select the download option on the toolbar to initiate the downloading process. Further information can be obtained from the main menu software section or from within the DB Link 3 software help. Your dose badge and reader unit are